Hello, I am filming this during a typhoon, so I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for all the raining and wind sounds outside. This is going to be a review of Shadowhunters Season 2 Episode 14, The Fair Folk, and it has been a very long time since this episode first aired and I watched it for the first time. I like trying to do daily cabinet meetings with the downworlders, just I loved that detail so much and I love that he's going through with it even though like everyone else is either skeptical or downright against it like he still is determined to do it and I love that already proving why he needs to be head of the New York Institute in the first place. As soon as Simon was adamant that he was coming to the Sealy Court with Jason Clary. It was really obvious to me what was coming. Clary and Jace kiss in the Seely Court and the Seely Queen's um, kiss who you most desire thing is in the books even though I do believe that Alec and Izzy are there in the books but still having um, Jace, Clary, and Simon there in the Seely Court I was immediately like okay they're going to play that out now. I've been waiting for something like this because obviously even if they didn't do this exact scenario something similar to it was going to happen eventually and bring Clace back up to the forefront. I think even if you hadn't read the books it was really obvious that it was going to have to be dealt with at some point. And as someone who's never really shipped Clary and Simon, I'm not a huge Clace shipper. Um, I don't ship Clary or Jace with anyone else and like I enjoy Clace like casually I guess. Um, I enjoy it on the show but I don't devote much energy to like thinking about it outside of the show. It's not like um, Malik or Sizzy which is my other big ship but at the same time um, I really don't like Clary and Simon together and it's not really because of Clace or even because of Sizzy which I have been very interested in the Raphael Izzy relationship on the show so um, I don't think my feelings about Sissy are really affecting how I feel about Clary and Simon. More about the fact, and I've talked about this a million times before both when talking about Shadowhunters and talking about other things, um, I get really frustrated with how frequently um, male-female friendships in books and TV and movies have to have something romantic happen and we can never just have um, a relationship between a boy and a girl where neither one ever develops feelings for each other. Obviously something happens between Clary and Simon in the books as well, but I would have been really happy if the show just hadn't gone there and had like kept Clary and Simon platonic friends and like, look, a boy and a girl can be best friends and neither one ever develops feelings for the other. Like I just would have really appreciated that, but I also didn't really believe they were going to do it. But because of that frustration, um, I kind of really wanted to get to a Clary Simon breakup. Maybe it sounds mean, but I really did. It doesn't really fix anything because there was still the like whole developing feelings for each other thing. But it just, but it gives me a bit more satisfaction. But even though it's sad and even though I feel really terrible for especially Simon but also Clary and Jace because it's a difficult situation. Um, I'm still happy it's happening. They all, they'll all be better off in the long run. In the long run they will all be fine. I do have some theories about who was calling Luke. It wouldn't really be a spoiler to tell you my theory based on what I have watched up to but I'll try to keep this spoiler free for past episode 214 so I won't like say who my theory is because it's based on stuff that happens in the books. I can't think of anyone else who would have possibly done it but then I can't really think about the exact reason this character would have done it either. There's quite a bit of Izzy and Raphael in this episode. Do we have a ship name for Izzy and Raphael? I feel like there has to be one at this point, but I don't know what it is. They're actually doing more with Izzy and Raphael than I expected because when it first happened I didn't think it was going to go very far. I thought like maybe there would be a flirtation or something. Then in the first half of the season, by the end of it, I was pretty sure like they had gone farther than I expected them to, but I don't know. I still wasn't expecting it to be this drawn out or this like 
intense. I don't know if intense is the right word, um, but but I guess it kind of is. They're just doing more with it than I ever expected. And I'm very interested to see what they do with it in the future. What I'm not so into is the Sebastian and Izzy stuff, which is something else I wasn't expecting them to do. Um, now this time I really do think that it won't go very far and maybe that is just me being hopeful but Izzy is very trusting of Sebastian which worries me and with her trying to like get back together kind of I guess with Raphael in this episode and Raphael like pushing her away that makes me worried that because she really likes Sebastian um something more may happen between Izzy and Sebastian in the future since she thinks like she can't be with Raphael but I really hope that that doesn't happen because like if it does I think it will be short-lived but I think it'll be used for like shock factor or something and I just really don't want that. I'm happy that I can talk about feeling weird about the Izzy and Sebastian stuff and it's not really a spoiler because of the ending of this episode where even if you haven't read the books you finally realize that something is definitely up with Sebastian. They have had hints that something is off before with him like touching the hot stove and not feeling pain and stuff but this is the first like very definitive thing I think that he is not a great person. Where this episode leaves off, obviously, if you haven't read the books, you still have a lot of questions and don't really know what's going on with Sebastian, but I really like how they did that and how you got the like quick scene of like, okay, something is up with Sebastian. 